Said medical professionals dominating that second day of testimony in the trial of Hubs teenager Alexis Avila. She's accused of throwing her newborn baby into a dumpster like a bag of trash. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Expert witnesses giving the jury a look at the bag Avila's son, infant son was placed in and talked about how close the baby came to dying. Max Claudia Puente was in the courtroom today. Jurors taking a look into the black plastic bag that quickly became the newborn's home immediately after birth. Empty water bottles, soda cans, receipts, and candy wrappers. All in the same bag that baby Avila was placed in by his mother before he was thrown in a dumpster. An officer who stayed with the newborn until he was transferred to Covenant Hospital here in Lubbock took the stand. She told jurors the infant would not budge or move when doctors were poking at him to start an IV. Later, a doctor who assessed the newborn testified he was suffering from hypothermia. His temperature so low, the thermometer could not get a read on him. And they were attempting to do a rectal temperature on this child and the temperature would not even um, read on the digital thermometer and that means that the temperature was below 80. There's a whole lot of things that are happening and if you don't do something, they're going to get worse. This, this patient is going to deteriorate. Previous testimony from witnesses saying it was 20 to 30 degrees outside for six hours before he was rescued. Jurors would learn that the baby suffered kidney damage, had a blood transfusion, and would have died if his vitals were not stabilized that night. The trial will continue in the morning and a verdict is expected on Friday. Claudia Puente, KMAC News.